Are you someone who wants to learn to lucid dream but doesn't have the time to invest a whole bunch of effort into it right now? Well, if that's you, then today I'm going to share with you a technique, a really easy technique to help you to try to lucid dream tonight. And let's be completely clear. I'm not one of those YouTubers who overhypes this subject. I'm not promising you a lucid dream tonight. There are no guarantees with something this complicated. But what I'll be doing today is giving you the best chance for a lucid dream tonight. So there's this weird thing with lucid dreaming. You remember that time you had a piece of trash and you threw it over your shoulder and it magically landed perfectly in the trash can. But no matter how much you tried to replicate that, you could never do it. Lucid dreaming is really similar to that. And even though you felt like a sporting hero when you got that slam dunk in the trash can, you know deep down that to be really good at something, to be a superstar at sport, you need to put in years of effort and practice. So there are no shortcuts for lucid dreaming. But that said, there is another option. To be really good at this, you have to put in consistent long-term effort. Learn lucid dreaming, they said. It'll be fun, they said. But if you can squeeze all of that effort into one evening, then you might have a higher chance of success. You can think of it kind of like a crash course diet rather than regular healthy exercise and eating. So enough jibber jabber, let's get on with the technique. The only things you're going to need are a notebook and a pen. And this notebook and pen are your new best friends. You love your notebook. You adore your pen. You take them with you everywhere you go. So here's what you're going to be doing between now and the time you go to bed tonight. You're going to set an alarm on your phone for every hour. And when your alarm goes off, you're going to grab your notebook and pen and you're going to write this in the notebook. Is this a dream? and write it as a question. Then spend a few moments studying the text, look at it, does it make sense, look away, look back, does it still say the same thing? If the text stays the same, then you're probably in the waking world, but if it's changed, you're almost certainly dreaming. Or, I suppose, dyslexic. I suppose I should mention that, actually. If you are dyslexic, then this practice isn't any good for you, but there are other videos here on the channel, so check those out. And huzzah, this is you for the rest of the day today. Every hour your alarm goes off, you write the text, you check the text, and then you set another alarm for the next hour. Okay, so now it's snoozy snoozy happy bedtime, and it's time to get into bed and to try for a lucid dream. Now of course you put your notebook and pen beside your bed, but then you set an alarm for two hours in the future. And as you let yourself fall asleep, you tell yourself, I'm going to notice if I'm dreaming when I'm dreaming. Then you just let yourself fall asleep, waiting for the alarm to do its hideous job in two hours time. And when the happy, joyful experience of the alarm going off happens, I think you know what you're going to do. You're going to turn on your bedside light, you're going to pick up your lovely notebook and pen, and you're going to write is this a dream? You're going to check it, you're going to look away, and you're going to read it again. Has everything stayed the same? If it's the same, and make sure it absolutely is, be really, really diligent here, then you're probably still awake. So you can just set another alarm for two hours, go to bed and start the whole process again. But if it's changed, well, you're not awake at all you're dreaming about waking up, which is called a false awakening. So do something fun, enjoy the dream. So you repeat this entire process throughout the night until you either have a lucid dream or you wake up in the morning. And whatever happens when you do wake up in the morning, grab your notebook and pen and record whatever dreams you can recall from the night. So what you're actually doing here is you're condensing a simplified form of standard lucid dream practice into one evening and one night. And this will give you the best chance for a lucid dream tonight. But there is one thing you need to remember here. You can't use this technique over and over and over again. In fact, that would be unhealthy, but it would also 
stop working. This is an intensive practice and it works because it's intensive and it works because of novelty. You can't rely on one single technique. So for the love of all things good, please don't do this technique every night. It would be unhealthy and it will stop working. It's very good for first attempts at lucid dreams and if it doesn't work the first night, give it a couple of nights and try it again. Eventually it will work. If you want to use this technique regularly, then I would say a maximum of one time a week. So maybe Saturday night so you have Sunday to recover. But if you want to become a regular lucid dreamer, Relying on techniques isn't the way forward. You need to develop your understanding of this subject. And there's a really good way to do that. Just watch this video course on screen now that will walk you through the basics of lucid dreaming and prepare you to become an expert lucid dreamer. I'll see you there.